So in this video, I will talk about appearance and the themes that you can create in Rats and Blazers Studio. So I already have this project open and the main focus we will have for this video is the theme up here. And at first glance, it doesn't look like you have so many choices to choose from. You can go and just edit the theme that you have on your website. And that is also pretty nice. We can choose between some predefined themes and actually everybody of them, they look pretty good but uh, let's just say we want to take this dark theme then it has changed the theme of your website to the dark theme instead but if we read the text we can see that it says open a dot razor file to customize styles so let's try and open our front page i will go to pages and the index page and as you can see the dark theme has already taken over the theme now but if we then go back to the themes tab then we do now have a lot more options the first thing we can take a look at is the swap Swatches. So there is some predefined swatches that we can select from. Let's just try and click this one. And you can see it's more blue now. And if we click this one, it's more like a greenish color. And these swatches are created specifically for this theme. So if we now go and say the material theme again, it has now added the material theme, but you can see it has a lot more swatches to choose from. So again, if we just click them, we can edit the theme like that. The nice thing about this theme appearance section is that we can also go in and edit the colors that is set right now. So in this case, for example, we have the yellow color up here. And in this case, it will be the primary color. It also set a primary light color. So a lighter edition of the primary color. And we can just go and click it and say, if we want a red one instead, then it will make it red. And let's try to edit this primary light color. So let's say that this should be a lighter red. So maybe like this. And you can see it edit the logo because that is using the primary light color. And you really have options to edit every color that you see on the page. So as you can see, some of these links are maybe using one of these color. It looks like it is secondary color. And this theme has even more things that we can change, like a warning colors and some success colors, info colors. So they have really been thinking about every color you can make on the side. But let's try to close the colors again and go to typography because in here you can just edit the root font size and just scale the fonts as you want to and what font you want to use on the website. So this appearance section would be pretty good to some front end developers and also good to back end developers so they don't have to worry about all the details in changing the layout. All right, let's move on to the next, which is the backgrounds. And this speaks for itself what it is. It should be the background. So if we go and change this to, let's say blue like this, then you get a blue background instead. Let's just change it back to white. And the next one is the borders. So you can specify how your border radius and border width should be. So let's just say that this should be 40 instead. And now you can see this box, it has now 40 in border radius and it have a border width of one pixel. So let's set that to 10 pixel. And now you can see it's actually affecting the menu here because that was borders. So this is maybe not some borders that is set. It may be just a shadow, but let's move on to the icons. And the only option we have here is to set the icon size. So let's try to say two instead. We can also go and set the shadows. So these are the 10 kind of shadows that you can set. Then we have this transition. So basically what this is, is how the effects on the website are going to be executed. So like if you have something when you hover, I actually think this may be then it will take 0.1 second to execute and it will be in a linear style. But now let's go to the last part, which is a very powerful part. Inside this components, you can actually go and specify how you want some of the styling to be on specific components. So let's try and take the button. And as you can see here, we have a border radius. So as you saw before, we had a border radius up here, but this is like a global one. So if you only want to affect the buttons to have an another border radius you can go in and do that also the transition here we just talked about and let's try to watch one more so if we take this checkbox you can see that we have some colors on the checkbox some border radius and you can really go and specify it how you want to have it and now let's say that you're done with editing the appearance of your website then you can actually go and just save the settings that you have made. You just go and say export styles. And in this case, I'll just save it to my desktop. So it wanna save it as a JSON file. And in this case, it call it material custom. And that is because we 
took the material theme and we just make some custom changes to it. So let's try and save this. And we can see I already have a file. I'll just say yes. And now I just opened that file. So you can see this is the JSON that it's saving. It will save a lot of the default things no matter what. But when you scroll down, you can see the changes that we made, like the border radius to 40 and the border width, we set it to 10 pixel. So if we close this and go back to our project and let's try to change the color up here, the red color. So we go and say the primary color should be green. So now it's green. But if we go and import the file that we just created, so the material custom JSON, we can say open. And now it already implemented the custom changes. And finally, if you don't like the thing you have done, you can just go and say reset everything. Then it will just go back to the default themes that Ratson Blazer Studio have created. So that was just a quick overview of the appearance and the themes page. I hope you learned something. Please go and give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. And else I'll just see you in the next video. Bye.